Okay, so um, a lot of you have been asking about moving the camera and uh, why we can't move the camera and um, you want to move the camera and that's great. Uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a controller that will work if our camera can move. Uh, that's the first part of doing that. Um, so you um, might have noticed um, in Unity uh, that we have on our player, we have the camera set up in a very um, particular way. And um, so uh, I want to I want to explain what's going on here. So if we look at our camera, um, we switch from local mode to global mode. So make sure this is global up here. Uh, well, let's actually let's have it say local. So um, you can see that the camera is pointing um, its blue its blue arrow this way, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but um, that way is matching up with the blue arrow on our kind of global compass here okay so in the world the way that the camera is pointing matches up with the way that the um that the world expects to be uh z forward z in the positive direction okay and if we look at the player same thing right we can see this blue arrow is pointing um that way and our um, global arrow is pointing that way. Like even if I switch between the local and the global arrows on the player, it doesn't change at all, right? Um, they're the same. And um, also, uh, so in our um, in our controller script, we are assuming that when we press um, the forward arrow, the up arrow, that's going to match with our global blue arrow, right? So when I hit play, and I press forward. The player is going to move forward. When I press backward, the player is going to move backward. When I press left, the player is going to move left. And when I press right, the player is going to move right. There's our enemy. Okay, this is annoying. Uh, escape. Okay. <laughs> so I'm pressing left, right, forward, backward. Um, and I'll do this in the big scene. Uh, you can see over here we have our player selected. You can see their direction. So I press forward, backward, left, right. Correct? And they're moving um, all how you would expect it. Now, here's the issue um, with this. So say, I'm going to pause this. Say I take the camera, and I'm going to rotate it uh, in the y-axis 90 degrees. And I'm going to position it um, instead of there. I'm going to move it back here. Okay. So now the camera's blue arrow is pointing to the right. Okay. You can see that. It's pointing to the right. But our global blue arrow is pointing that way. Okay, so if I go back into the game and I press forward, the player is going to move in the global forward direction. So when I press W for the fo the forward arrow, they're actually moving to the left now. If I press um, the to the move to the right arrow, they're going to move um, forward. Um, so what's happening here is the camera direction is misleading the player. Into what direction the um, into what direction the uh, this is going to move? So you can see um, from from this angle, uh, if I select the player, um, their blue arrow is pointing that way. So if I press up, oops, let me just select game again. So if I press up on the arrow, notice in the um, in the uh, scene view, the player is moving um, forward and backward, but in the camera view. They're moving left and right and if I press left and right if I press left they move towards the camera if I press right they move away from the camera um, but uh, in the scene view they're moving left and right okay um, so what we need to do is we need to reconcile those differences we need to turn our inputs to be relative to the camera so that's why it's called camera relative motion and I will explain what I mean um, if we just go to Photoshop so here I've drawn, uh, I've drawn our player. So this is our player. Okay, I'll fill them in. So we have our player. You gray. So we have our player. Okay, and here's their forward. Their blue, their z axis. Their forward direction is that way, and their right direction is to the right, which right now matches our global, matches our um, camera, and matches our input. Right. So this is this is going to be our input over here. This is. Uh, this is our, our our arrow keys, okay? So we have our forward, uh, right, 
left and down arrow keys. Um, so, so, so we get our direction from our arrow keys, which is forward, uh, which is the same as we're perceiving forward, which is the same as the character. But uh, so if we move our camera over here, okay, now our camera, oops, our camera's forward arrow is pointing this way, but our player's forward arrow is pointing this way. And so what's happening is um, when we press up on the, um, on the, uh, on the arrow keys, um, our player is moving forward, but our camera is viewing it. Um, if you look at this, it's viewing it to the right, correct? So when we press forward, even though our player is still moving forward, which is the global forward, um, it appears to be that they're moving from left to right, okay? Um, so uh, the way we can um, adjust this is first we get our input, right? So you press forward on the input, uh, and I'm actually, I'm going to use yellow for this. Um, so we press, so we press forward on the input, right? Um, and so we expect that to be forward on the camera, okay? Um, so what we want to do is we want our player to move forward based on the camera, um, which means that uh, what we need to do is we need to take um, we need to take the players forward, um, or um, and uh, well, actually, we don't take the players forward. We need to take the global forward and find out how far off this full the camera's forward is from that. So, um, so we have our global forward, which is this blue arrow, and we have our camera forward, which is the yellow arrow. So, we need to find this angle. We need to find out how far different um, the ca the camera's rotation is from the global one. So then we take that amount. And we tell the character to spin that amount, and then we tell the character to walk forward that direction. Okay. Um, so say we press left on the stick. Uh, we need to find out what the camera's left is, and then find out how far we need to rotate from the global forward to equal the camera's left, which is this way make the player face that way. So when we press left, now the player is facing left compared to the camera, and then we want to move that way, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the player the amount it takes to reconcile the camera's perception of that direction with the global direction, okay? So I know that's a lot, um, uh, but uh, let's, let's just walk through it again. So, um, so we have our player. Okay, and we have our camera, and the camera can be anywhere, right? So let's stick the camera over here just to make this clear. And then we have our global, oops, global right and global forward. And then we also have our keypad, okay, which is up, left, down, right, okay? So let's use this yellow just to walk through this, okay? So we have our up, down, left, and right. We want our character to walk forward, or what we perceive as forward. So based on the camera, we want it to walk forward. So we press forward. Um, now normally, that would move the character this way, right? Because that is the global forward. So normally, we just take this forward and move the character in the global forward. But actually, we want to move the character in the camera's forward. Okay, so let's get the cameras forward in a different color. So we will actually want to move the character. Where we want to move the character is this way. Okay, but right now the character is going to try and move this way. So what we need to do is find out. Uh, so the character is going to want to move in the global forward. So what we want to do is we want to find out how far we need to turn the character. So they're now facing the way we want them to move, which is the cameras forward. Now, just as another example, let's go back to here and let's get the, so say we press, uh, let's say we press down and left at the same time. So this is our direction, right? Um, so that's the global down and left. But, um, so just to make this clear, if we take the, 
camera's forward, which is this way, the camera's right, which is this way, then um, the direction we actually want the player to turn is this way compared to these two things. So we actually want it to go this way. So we want the player to go this way, um, but right now the player is going to be trying to go this way. So we find the rotation to get to this value. So we rotate the player around and we tell them to go that way. And that is how um, that is how uh, camera relative motion is going to work. And so notice I've been ignoring the up and down value, the z, the, the y axis. We've just been working the x and the or oops sorry the z and the x axis, but we've been ignoring the y. So the only thing that controls the y direction is gravity and if we're jumping. Okay, so when we're choosing which way the character is going to point, we can ignore up and down. They're never going to point up or down. Um, most video games, unless you're flying like a spaceship um, in which you can like tilt up or tilt down, um, turn left, turn right, um, and move straight up and straight down. Um, spaceships have a lot more directions to go, but as, as far as we're concerned with our two-player character, Really, we're only controlling them in the in the 2D direction with the arrow keys, and then we're controlling them in the third dimension with the space bar. So that's why I haven't talked about the Y axis. Um, so this is just a big, long introduction to how we're going to get this to work. Um, so I'm going to take a break here, and in the next video, we are going to actually uh,